as I shared in my analysis yesterday for gold and silver. I asked you to remain short on gold below 1735 and silver below 1880 levels. Precisely both have seen the support levels at 1718, 1840 as expected. I hope you all profited. Now, what is going to happen today? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profit. Do not commit this mistake. Do watch it regularly. The next update on gold is will be up before the US cash session. Do watch that also. Let's start the day. First, we'll look into gold followed with silver. Do watch till the end and do listen to it carefully. Now, look at the movements of gold on the hourly charts. It is giving you lower highs and at the same time, right now, it is shying away from giving the lows out there. Definitely, the resistance at 1725 and 1728 is strong beyond that 1732 and only if it trades beyond 1735, you can confirm that it is trying to act bullish as it may continue to drop. But at the same time, right now, it seems that 1720 levels are providing it a very strong support and hence uh, below 1720 it is a good level entry to go short and then 1715 and below that we can see a very good break till towards 1705-1700 levels. Directional movement is bearish. Stochastic on the early charts is looking upwards. MACD is willing to converge crossover for a bullish move. RSI is sloping downwards and is trading near to the bottom. On the 2 hour charts Two, you can find it is trying to take a support at 1720 but at the same time it is giving you lower highs lower low so only long entry it appears is above 1725 above which you can expect it to rise a little how far it can go see uh, the nearest resistance at 1728 and then 1732 35 levels will come into picture beyond that it will fly directional movement is bearish stock stochastic is a oversold MACD is divergent and bearish RSI is near to bottom there. On the 3 hour chart, the new candle has just started and it is, see the previous candles, previous two candles, the highs at the same level set 1725. It may try to restrict the movement for a little while and then try to continue with the bearish momentum. Possibly only below 1720, you can expect it to drop and above 1725, you can expect it to rise. Similar indication what we have got from the other charts. Directional movement is bearish, stochastic is oversold, MACD is widely divergent and bearish, RSI is near to bottom and on the 4 hour charts too, see on the 4 hour charts, look at this, it is trying to trade in this channel, you have to be cautious till towards 1725 and 1720 levels, rather I will say 1727 and 1720 levels do not trade. And above 1725-26, yes, you can go long, but then expect 1728-1732 and then 1735. These are the levels. Only above 1735, you can expect it to act little bit bullish. Directional movement is bearish. Stochastic is at bottom and it is oversold. MACD is divergent and is bearish. RSI is also near to bottom there. Now, look at the daily charts. First thing on the daily chart, see previous two candle higher lows and if even if it is failed to break past 1720 levels, see it has already seen the lows out there and it is previous, it has breached the previous support zones and hence only below 1720, if it drops below 1720, you can stay short and expect it to drop and above 1725, possibility of a rise exists but then 1728-30 and then 32-35 levels will come into picture. These are the good resistance levels. So yes, you can stay long above 1725, stay short below 1720. Directional movement bearish, stochastic oversold, MACD divergent and bearish, RSI is near to bottom there. Considering this, Yes, you can go short below 1720, first target 1715, then 1712 and then 1708 and 1705 will come into picture every three. See, gold is trying to give you very confined, very narrow movements these days and $10 is something which is a good move. $20 if you get, that is exceptionally a great move. So yes, you can go short below 1720 levels and then one can remain short and expect it to drop till towards 1715, 1712, 1708, 1705. 1705 is a good support and then 1698 will come into picture. It can go any which way, but I think probably even if it tries to drop 1700 is the extreme support which it must not break or at least if it breaks it should not sustain below. 
let's see how it behaves on the upside you can buy above 1725 so if you see it trading above 1725 buy at those levels 1728 first target 1732 1735 the next target you have to trade with a trailing stop loss e either if you are short or you are long because the targets the nearby targets let's say between 1725 and 1728 it's hardly 3 dollars so either you have to close with the 3 dollars which is a good move which is a good profit if you have taken a big lot 3 dollars is a good move in gold and but at the same time if you think that it is going in your direction either close your profit trades out there at 1728 and re-enter either shift your stop loss to 1728 and continue trading but preserve your profits and preserve your capital that is the first mantra so please trade with the trailing stop loss trade with the strict stop loss at cost now let's have a look at silver on the other hand silver on the hourly charts has seen a bottom 1840 1835 now i have told you always 1840 is a very strong support for silver and see it is breached it tried to trade below 1835 36 zones it has achieved and now trying to rise from here so is this a retracement or a reversal only if it breaks past this zone that is 1870 1880 you can consider that as a reversal till that time it can it can be considered for a retracement how far it can go the next resistance zone it appears at around 17 uh, 1855 level so 1855 definitely a stronger resistance for silver on the upside let's have a further look directional movement is bearish stochastic looking upwards macd on the hourly charts has crossed over rsi looking upwards here on the two hour charts likewise if you see created a bottom out there trying to rise from here the next resistance zone is 1855 and then 1865 zones only if it breaks past this zone at 1880 consider that as reversal and then we may see it rising from here remember it is trying to create lower bases lower bases means it is bearish and when it is bearish it has a tendency that probably it may continue to drop only if it gives you a reversal and breaks on the upside then only consider that as reversal which is 1880 for now directional movement is bearish stochastic looking upwards macd is willing to converge rsi looking upwards on the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts too it is trying to trade with this this candle is trying to come out of this and probably once it breaks past this zone at 1850 it may try to head for 1855 1860 and 1865 till here it's fine 1865 definitely very very strong resistance and from there we will see how it behaves directional movement is bearish stochastic is oversold macd is bearish trying to converge rsi is at bottom and on the 4 hour charts likewise if you see on the 4 hour chart see this is the channel in which it is trying to trade 1850 should be the high which it is which might get a, give it a little resistance beyond 1850 probability exists that 1854 55 should be the target and beyond that we can continue to remain long on the downside you can go short if you see it trading any point of time if you see it trading below 1835 then only go short directional movement divergent and bearish stochastic oversold macd bearish here rsi is oversold trying to come out of the oversold zone now look at the daily charts see one thing on the daily charts this move two steps and one bigger candle so this complete move is completed now it is trying to give you a reversal so only be considered for a reversal if and only if it breaks past this zone which is right now situated at around 1870 and 1880 levels beyond this definitely it may call for a reversal and it can try to achieve the high there it can give you a symmetrical candle achieving a high of 1880 and from there the reversal candles tomorrow day after tomorrow can continue hence for the day you can go long above 1850 and then till 1865 and 1880 levels you have to trade with the trailing stop loss above 1850 1855 1860 65 70 these are the levels which you should watch out for every 5 points you are getting a little resistance and hence either you can close or you can re enter as per your wish at least keep shifting your stop loss at least put a trailing stop loss 
on the downside goes short below 1835 below 1835 we may see a good drop then i'll look forward to 1830 and 1820 levels 1820 another good support and below that directly towards 1810 and 1800 if it breaches 1800 definitely it calls for a further drop in the coming weeks and we can expect it to drop considerably below 1800 levels if it continues to trade so this is another aspect to look at it do not trade between 1835 and 1850 also remember see after this step if you consider this as channel see also this is trying to create a expanding triangle the probability of it getting resistance at 1880 is strong and yes above 1880 should be considered for a reversal then one can expect that it may try to breach again 1900 and 1920 levels so i'll be cautious there and probably right now it is still bearish and uh, but we have to not trade as per the bias but as per the levels hence go short only below 1835 above 1850 you can go long but you have to trade with a trailing stop loss and keep shifting your stop loss to cost so that you can preserve your capital trade accordingly trade profitably do not miss to like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch 15 days 90 minutes daily lifetime support or become a part of my patron group where not only you can become a member who can support me in my efforts here but at the same time you can become a next tier premium member where you will get all the signals and all the analysis you can also discuss with me one on one on email there so the patron page link and channel descriptions are mentioned in the uh, channel description and video description also you can reach out to me via telegram or email my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you